Welcome, and thank you for joining us. My name is Julie Harrison. I'm from Mind Manager Software, and we're really pleased to be here sponsoring this valuable PMI event for the second year in a row. Today, we have asked Mr. Nick Duffel to join us. He's an expert in visual thinking and design, and he's going to be addressing the topic of strategizing for success. Now, I'm sure we can all agree that clear, upfront understanding of risks, requirements, responsibilities, it's critical to any project success. But project management software often compels the project manager to just jump right into that task management process using linear-based models, such as Gantt charts and spreadsheets. And linear tools, as we know, are ideal for this kind of detailed and complex project management work. Visual tools, on the other hand, are ideal for some of this big picture or holistic thinking that's required in advance of your project before the kickoff. In other words, the kind of thinking required for the project's upfront strategic planning. So in the next 15 minutes, we are going to be having uh, Nick join us and he is going to address two key items how visualization enhances clarity and helps uncover what might be missed in a linear model and he's going to walk through three key visualization models that you can keep in your toolbox thanks for the intro julie let's let's jump right in um, what we're going to talk about in the next um, 15 or so minutes is the use of this piece of software, Mind Manager, to help you to plan and organize and visualize everything around your project as well as what's inside the product as well. Um, and what we're doing here is we're presenting direct out of the software. So th this is um, software that you can use um, on your desktop, you can use to manage your project, you can use it to communicate with people. Now, every project management presentation starts with a reference to issues that project managers face, and uh, nothing new there but information deluge just seems to get bigger and bigger every year, and there's less and less time to, to deal with the amount of information that, that is fired at us. And in recent months, um, what has compounded that is that clearer communication is even more critical than it ever was. Um, when we're working remotely, you've got less opportunity for conversations at the water cooler to find out what's happening, what's new, what's changed that you just heard about. And we really have to rely on our communication and our, our systems even more than ever. And we've used the word um, strategic a couple of times. Why, why is project management strategic? There's a couple of issues here. First is the difference between complicated and complex. Um, complicated things are things that have lots and lots of detail. You, you can um, you need to keep track of a lot of data, a lot of tasks, a lot of people, time scales, technical issues, all kinds of stuff. But complicated things can be solved by rational analysis. They can be solved by being organized and by keeping track of lots of detail. In comparison, complex things have lots of interactions. And if you change one thing, something else changes at the same time. You can't solve it. You can't have a formula that guarantees success. You can only aim to manage complex things by doing trades and making compromises and continually adjusting. So project management is a mix of both. We, we've got a little graphic over here on this side of the mapping mind manager which illustrates how all the different aspects of project management are interrelated. You, you can't really change any one of these without having an effect on the other. And what we're doing here is showing you how in a mind manager map, which is what we're looking at here, you can deal with a lot of complicated information on one side, nicely organized in trees, nicely marked up. And you can also describe and communicate complex things on the left hand side of the map and that gives you two different perspectives on the same situation you can drill into the detail when you need to or you can see the context of that in a different type of diagram and it's those different types of, of diagram that we'll be looking at a few examples of in this session so project management is more than just complicated administration it's the management of complex systems and you really need to master and communicate both the big picture and the detail here you have to have a plan we're not talking about not having a plan but you need to be ready to deal with when that plan um, goes off the rails you get a big, big change or a challenge in your project you have to be able to manage that and respond to it so how might visualization help with that let's have a, a quick look at that 
linking back to the strategy idea again, um, Kaplan and Norton, the, the authors of strategy maps and uh, balanced scorecards, say that strategies must be communicated if you want to succeed, and that a company strategy um, only really works when people understand why their actions matter, where they can see how where they fit and how what they do makes a real difference. And we, we can apply exactly the same principles of projects that communication is, is essential for, for project success. If we want to communicate and describe things, visual pictures extend our vocabulary quite a lot. Um, and with a bigger vocabulary, we can communicate complicated and complex ideas much better. Um, with visualization, it's much easier to see the assumptions that you're making, see where the patterns are, see where the holes in those patterns might be, see what else is missing. It helps also if, to, if you visualize something to depersonalize things that might be quite tricky or sensitive. So you, you take things out of out of personal discussion, you put them up on the wall or you put them on a screen, it's easy to discuss those. And what we've seen a lot is that a good visualization enables a much better dialogue, much more constructive dialogue. And you can't hide behind bullet points and happy talk or PowerPoint slides. You're actually talking about and manipulating and describing the real issues. But clear thinking is the foundation of all good communications. And it's that process of creating a good picture where your thinking gets gets clarified a lot and you really add value. It helps you to develop that. So visualization is a really important aspect of communicating complicated and complex things. Let's have a quick look at three different tools that you could use within my major. Now, all of these things um, are, are things you can do um, out of the box with my major software. First one will be very familiar to, to many of you, and that's a work breakdown structure. Let's have a quick look at a, a map with a work breakdown structure in it. I'll, I'll click this link to take us to a different map. What we've drawn here is, is a tree which is broken down into different layers. And the, the top layer, we've broken our project down into phases. Then each phase, we're, we're identifying what the de deliverables are. So you can visually see which deliverables belong to which phase in a project. Then each deliverable, we're breaking down into work packages. So again, you've got the context of a deliverable. To, to understand what a work package means. And then below that, we can break down work package into actions. And then we're down into the into the detail. We've identified um, what actions are needed to deliver a work package. And if you draw a picture like this, it makes it very easy to see where everything fits together in, in a project. And this, this work breakdown structure might be very large or it might be organized in a different way, but the principle is the same. You can have a large amount of detail that's very easy to navigate, very easy to understand where things fit. Let's see an example of what you can do with that. You can um, add by adding tasks and dependencies on the onto a work breakdown structure, you can then turn that into, bring this over here, you can click a button and turn that into a Gantt chart. So you can link all the way down from um, a high level project plan broken down into phasing deliverables, right down to task street to a Gantt chart. So that, that gives you visibility and control all the way down um, from the top level of project. You can also do other kinds of analysis with costs or risk in that work breakdown structure, and you can add information into the tree. So that, that's one type of visualization. Another type that we could use in my major is a risk matrix. Let's have a look at a, a map with a risk matrix in it. Let me zoom out a little bit. This, this isn't a tree, this is a grid. So instead of um, information organized hierarchically, we've got information organized in a grid. And th this is a communication tool um, to, to communicate to senior management the risk profile of your project. What you can do is, um, use a, a diagram like this to, to place risks where they belong in the um, the risk matrix. You can easily see we've got a couple of major risks in our project in the red area. We need to be working on those. But the important thing is that with a tool like this, relate, in, integrated with your project management, 
you can put risk management actions right into the product itself. You don't have to have a separate risk management plan elsewhere. It becomes part of your project management plan. So on the right hand side, we may have our work breakdown structure. On the left hand side, we could have our risk matrix and we could be doing risk reviews, integrating that into the product plan. So there's a few other things. You can also make calculations and you can use this risk matrix visualization to run reviews, to, to discuss the state of risk, decide what you need to do. And risk management is a fundamental part of, of any kind of project success. You have to know that you're ready to take care of what might happen. A third option is a RASI grid, which again is a kind of um, is a matrix, but this is designed to communicate a different uh, aspect of information about your project. Um, RASI, if you haven't seen it before, is it identifies who's responsible, accountable, consulted or informed in your project. And you could list your different areas of project management and aspects of the project. And in columns, you can say who's responsible, who's accountable. So, for example, um, the architect of your project might be consulted on the contract. You might want some input to that, but he's not responsible for delivering that. Whereas he is responsible for the specification and for controlling change in your project. So with a very simple matrix like this, you can keep track of who's doing what, who's got what responsibility. And this is fundamental to, to having any kind of team working together when they understand what responsibilities and accountabilities they've got. It's also the basis of your um, communications plan for a project. So if you, if you develop a RASI grid, in my mind, you can link it through to, to other information in your project. Um, you can see by looking at the grid where your bottlenecks are going to be and take action early to, to avoid those, develop a communications plan. And most importantly, from there, you build out your core project processes. So this, this is where you start to describe, describe how things will actually work, who, who will do change management, who will do risk management when they do that who's responsible for signing stuff off. So all of this stuff can all be brought together into one place. And this is much more than you'd expect to be able to do with a task management tool. So we mentioned integration with your project, linking your project plan and strategic models. That's really important to bring those two things together because it puts the project detail into a wider context. So just to wrap that up then, um, my manager is a tool that you can use pretty much end to end, depending on the size of a project. If it's a small project, you could capture and track everything that you need um, in a mind manager map. If you're working with a larger projects, this kind of visualization and communication is really important um, for the scoping and planning and the communication of that. And again, integrating um, vague things like uh, complex systems, in with complicated detail all in the same picture and being able to communicate and focusing on those really adds value to the project management process. Nick, thank you so much. That was definitely a power packed 15 minutes. High speed, high speed. Yes, that was great. That is the time we had available for our session today. So I do really appreciate um that everybody came to join us and if nick has piqued your interest on mind manager we do have a virtual booth set up in the exhibition hall so please drop by ask any questions there's a free trial and thank you again for joining us and i hope you have a fabulous learning and networking experience here today take care everyone thanks again nick bye now thanks bye-bye